Better stand by with a glass. Standing by. Oh, oh, my God. God. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Opening champagne and a life of bliss. <laughs> Being the biography of a shy young bachelor. With Diana Churchill, Colin Gordon, Petula Clark, Gladys Young, Carlton Hobbs, Gwen Cheryl, and Percy Edwards. <laughs> Back from a business tour of the Far East and welcomed home by his family, including his father. Pass them round, David. Oh, right. Mother? Thank you, dear. Sister Anne and brother in law Tony is that shy young bachelor, David Alexander Bliss, better known to us as George Cole. <laughs> And where's your glass, David? Oh, not, not for me, thanks, Tony. Oh. I may have been abroad, but I still don't drink. Oh, come on, drop a champagne, won't hurt you. Oh, all right, then. But don't, don't, don't give me too much, though. Don't worry, I won't. I haven't got mine yet. <laughs> I'm a great believer in fair shares for everybody else. Here's a glass. Oh, thanks. Uh, shall, shall, shall I say when? You won't have time. There you are. <laughs> Jolly good. Now then, mine. Shall we say when? Nice of you to offer, but please don't bother. <laughs> uh, here's to you, David, my boy. Welcome home. Yeah, oh, yeah. nice to you, brother. Mm, I'd almost forgotten what it was like. What is it, vintage champagne? Well, it must be by now. It was a Christmas present from a grateful clan. How does it feel to be home again? Oh, wonderful. It's jolly nice to go, Brom, but you're always glad to get back to England. No, I wouldn't say that. Not nowadays. Tony's always talking about emigrating. I mean it, too. <laughs> Let's see, how goes the champagne? Mm, just about two glasses left. Who'd like the other? Father. Don't like drinking on an empty stomach. Oh, is that a hint? Finish the thought. How long will it be? Oh, not long. I'll come and help you, my dear. Oh, thank you, Mother. I should show them your snaps now, David. They might look blurred later on. They are, anyway. <laughs> well, where are they? What, the, the snaps? Mm. Oh, uh, uh, over here somewhere. Now. You uh, you sure we want to see them? They're, they're not awfully good. No, oh, never mind. Oh, yes, here they are. Good heavens, boy, however many did you take? Oh, quite a few, but I, I covered a good few thousand miles of film. <laughs> I'll give you a second chance. Still want to see them? Oh, jolly good. I thought perhaps you'd change your mind. <laughs> Yo, that's the, um, that's the bathing pool on the ship coming back. Oh, by the way, did I, did I tell you about Mr. Marchant being on board? Who is Mr. Marchant? Oh, one of the firm's directors. Oh, that, that, that's his, uh, his daughter, Anna, in the photograph. There, look, the, the girl in the bathing costume. I see. She's quite a looker. Yes, I suppose she is. My dear chap, there's no suppose about it. <laughs> well, I, I, I can't see how you can tell from that. Why? Well, she's wearing dark glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and they say travel broadens the mind. She's a looker, all right, dark glasses or not. Oh, I still don't see how you can tell. Same way you judge a horse. I've seen many a good filly in blinkers. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you told her you were engaged. Oh, naturally. She, she was jolly nice about it, too. Jolly nice. Well, yes, I mean, it, it could have been a bit embarrassing. You see, she, uh, well, had a crush on you? Well, apparently. Good heavens. Ah, now this is interesting. What did she say exactly? You know, when you explained you were engaged to Penny. Oh, uh, that she was sure I'd be very happy and hope we could still be friends. Hello, that's got a familiar ring. Yeah, and it could have an ominous ring. Ominous? Could be. Analyze it and you'll see what we mean. I'm sure you'll be very happy, generously accepting defeat. I hope we can still be friends, living to fight another day. <laughs> In other words, playing for time. Well, it's rather like playing a salmon. If you can't land it straight away, you give it more line. Well, I, 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 suppose there, I suppose there is a connection, but I honestly can't see it. You can't see the line, but the poor fish is still hooked. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, no, just, just a second. Aren't you forgetting something? Yeah. I'm engaged to Penny. My dear chap, that doesn't give you complete immunity. Women are born poachers. Oh, not, 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 not when somebody's engaged. I mean, it's, well, it's, it's, it's a question of conscience. I'm not saying you're wrong. Well, that's something. Uh, well, I'll even go further and say that 99 girls out of 100 would have a conscience about it. 99 out of 100? Well, say 9 out of 10. <laughs> as many as that? Well, well, let's say the majority and leave it vague. <laughs> On the other hand, women have a habit of coming to terms with their conscience. Easy terms. I bet you anything you like, she'll pester the life out of it. You know, that's Bombay taken from the ship. We've got him. We've got him worried at last. <laughs> no, on, 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 on the contrary, I, I, I still think you're wrong. Think? I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Right, I don't see it matters anyway. You're, you're, you're forgetting. Her father's one of my directors. <laughs> oh, come on, cheer up. If the worst comes to the worst, you can always emigrate. Here's to you. Welcome home. <laughs> Run, run, run.
Yes, I know. It's your master. Or mine. Hello, Anne. Oh, hello, Poppy. <laughs> hello, Anne. I popped into the flat on my way home. Oh, did you? Are your sitting tenants still sitting? Sitting tight. Never mind. I'm rather glad you've got to stay here. You can help cheer Tony up. Tony? Mm. Well, he was cheerful enough last night. That was the champagne. He's going through rather a difficult phase at the moment. Oh, dear, I'm sorry to hear that. What, 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 what's wrong? He's approaching 40. Oh, is that so important? <laughs> as important to men as it is to women. We all look on 40 as the crossroads. Only women take longer to cross. Ah. <laughs> men take it harder. They not only see their youth receding, but their hopes, their ambitions, even their hair. And that's how Tony feels. He's showing all the symptoms. Such as? Talking about emigrating, for one thing. He's taken to massaging his hair. He's allergic to the office. Now, let me see what else was there. Oh, yes, the fitness campaign. <laughs> what on earth is that? He goes for a run before breakfast. I don't believe it. It's true. He's even bought himself a pair of running shorts. <laughs> good gracious. It can't be good for him. He comes back looking like death. Honestly? Honestly. <laughs> even his shorts are at half mast. <laughs> Gosh, if that's a symptom, we'd better find a cure. Before it's too late. Exactly. I, I, I can't understand Tony feeling he's not getting anywhere. He's made enormous strides. Well, of course he has, and that's part of the cure. Telling him how well he's done. In other words, restoring his confidence, and I'm counting on you to help. Well, I'll do my best. I'm sure you will, only, um... Only what? He's awfully touchy. You'll have to be careful not to say the wrong thing. Now I must go and prepare something particularly appetizing. For a jaded husband? I think it helps. Ah, uh, makes all the difference in the world. Oh, by the way, I shouldn't mention the fitness campaign. He's terribly self-conscious about it. Well, I can't see why. You haven't seen him in his running shorts. <laughs> Walk of gracious there he is now, and I haven't even started. Well, let's hope he's had a good day at the office. He was absolutely exhausted after his run this morning. So? He's probably had a good sleep at the office. Tell him it won't be long. Yes, all right. No, 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 you're staying in here. Hello, oh, hello, David O'Ran. Oh, hello, Tony. Do you have a good sleep at the office? <laughs> good sleep. Oh, have a, have a, have a good day. I, I can't imagine why I said sleep. Neither can I, but then you've been away quite a time. <laughs> Meaning what? I'm out of practice. Oh, I'm sorry. No, don't be silly. I'm not pulling a leg. Oh, every sort of day, you know. Supper won't be long. No, good. I, uh... I gather it's something appetizing. May? I've seen the evening paper, huh? You're on the table. No. I, uh, I, I think that makes all the difference, don't you? Mine. Well, coming home to a nice meal after an exhausting run at the office. <laughs> <laughs> exhausting? Exhaust, exhausting day. I can't imagine why, why I you said, said run. run. <laughs> Might be good practice to find out. Let's see. We've got two clues. A good sleep at the office, an exhausting run. I'd say you've been talking to Anne. Oh, gosh, practice makes per you you practically <laughs> followed me in. So, oh, and 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 didn't have time to tell me about what? Well, about you being. Oh gosh. <laughs> I thought as much. Well, she, she she only said you were a bit depressed. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not depressed. Well, you've certainly got no reason to be. You 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 you've done jolly well. What prompted that? Did Anne put you up to it? No no no, of course not. I wonder. Well, you 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 have done well, Tony. A lot better than most old men. No, mo mo most men. You, 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 you've made enormous strides. Well, in the past, perhaps, but not now. That's really why I want to emigrate. Why? Oh, I'm in a rut. Oh, nonsense, Tony. I know how you feel, but you'll soon be past it. <laughs> there are several ways of taking that, and I don't think much of the choice. <laughs> past what? Oh, the, the, the phase. Yes, but only by doing something about it. You don't get out of a rut by sitting around and hoping for the best. And then 40's the turning point. I, I, I know what you mean. I've seen it happen to friends of mine. You lose all sense of ambition, all your drive. Even your hair. <laughs> you, not, 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 not that you've lost all yours. Not lost yours at all. No, because I'm doing something about that too. And so I gather. From Anne? <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, and I, I, I think she's right, you know. Why, worrying, worrying about your hair is only a symptom. It's not the real trouble. And what is the real trouble? Well, you're, you're, you're just going through a bald patch. <laughs> so she did put you up to it. No. Don't be ridiculous. It's quite clear what's going on. Truth is, Anne doesn't like the idea of emigrating. <clears throat> oh, all right, I'll answer it. Hello. Oh, hello. My name's Honor Marchant. Is David Bliss there? Yes, hold on. It's for you. Honor somebody. Honor Marchant? Of course. The girl on the boat. There you are, you see? I warned you she'd be back. What, 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 what shall I say if she wants to see me? It's a bit tricky. You've got to be careful because of her father. Jolly careful. <laughs> There's only one answer. Charming but elusive. 
Elusive? Yeah, as in Pimpernel. As in... <laughs> oh, oh, the, the Scarlet Pimpernel. Yes, yes. Oh, Avery, what, 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 what made you think of that? David, old boy, she's waiting on the phone. <laughs> yes, but what, what, what am I supposed to say? Well, you, you, you'd like to see her, but you're up to your eyes at the moment. And don't let her trap you into saying anything else. Is trap the word you want? Oh, she's obviously a determined young lady. She'll be up to all the tricks. Uh, hello? Uh, hello, hello <laughs> He's yes. just coming. Oh, thank you. I, I, I'm not happy about it. About what? Well, the whole idea. I mean, it might be all right for Sir Percy, but not for me. Sir Percy? Well, the, the Scarlet... Um... Look, David, she... <laughs> she's waiting on the phone. Charming, but elusive. You're up to your eyes. And she's up to her tricks. The phone! <laughs> All right. Uh, hello, Scarlet. Oh, oh yeah. hello, 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 Anna. Who's that? Yo, Percy. Percy. Yo, David. What was all that about? No, I, I must have been thinking of two other people. Sorry. That's all right. Look, David, we're having a party on Friday. I was wondering if you could come. Oh, I'm afraid I can't manage it. <laughs> Oh, perhaps. Oh, what does that mean? That you don't want to see me again? Oh, no, 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 it isn't that. I, I, I'd obviously like to see you. But? Well, I'm, I'm up to my tricks. Here. <laughs> up to your eyes. My, my, my eyes. Whatever's the matter with you? Here, no, no, nothing. You know, if you don't want to see me, you've only got to say so. Oh, I, I do want to say so. Do, do, do want to see me. <laughs> only I'm, 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 I'm up to my eyes, honestly. You'll give her a ring. I, I'll give you a ring about it. Promise? Promise. Oh, Gosh, really? Yes, of course. Well, I say that's, that's jolly nice of you. She, she, she couldn't have come, actually. She, she's away at the moment. Oh? Oh, oh, well, perhaps another time. Bye, David. See you soon. Goodbye. You see, we've been maligning the poor girl. She, she, she wanted me to bring Penny along. <laughs> if you'd fall for that, you'd fall for anything. <laughs> I don't want to depress you, but you've got a problem on your hands. It'll get worse before it gets better. And you don't want to depress me? When's Penny coming back, you know? Well, at the end of the week. Why? That's when it'll get worse. Hello? Tony? Yes? It's Penny. Good gracious, so you're back. A day early. Oh, I'm sure you don't want to talk to me. I'll call David. No, just a second, Tony. All right. Of course. You sure it's all right? Oh, you're more than welcome. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, Anne and Mother have gone to the cinema, but Father and I will be here. Uh, and David, of course. I'm on my way. Oh, right. Tony? Yes? Uh, don't tell David I'm coming. Uh, I'd like it to be a surprise. All right, then. Bye. Bye. Who was that? Penny. Well, I thought she was in Paris on some sort of course. Yes, yeah, she was there. Uh, David? You're coming? Oh, young Carol says it's not time to put our light out. Here. Young Carol knows there's one born every minute. I, 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 I was just giving Psyche a supper. I've got news for you. Penny's back. Honestly? She's on her way round. Oh, gosh, that, that's wonderful. But you're not supposed to know about it. Still. <laughs> <laughs> Forewarned is forearmed. Uh, how, how do you mean? Well, it's obvious, surely. Penny will want to hear all about your time abroad. What you did. If you did it alone. <laughs> <laughs> and that raises a vital question. To tell or not to tell? Oh, about, about honour, you mean? Yes. Well, I, I shall tell her. Do you think that's wise? I think it's mad. Oh, now, look, I, I, I admit you, you were right about honour, but I, I'm, I'm sure Penny will understand. Oh, my poor old lad. The world's full of broken romances, and as often as not, that could serve as an epitaph. What? He was sure she'd understand. <laughs> but I, 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 I wouldn't dream of deceiving her. But, my dear chap, you wouldn't be deceiving her. Your friendship with honour was perfectly innocent. Some things are better left unsaid, that's all. Especially where women are concerned. They're a law unto themselves. Everything you say is taken in and twisted into evidence against you. <laughs> well, Pe Penny doesn't twist my words. Well, she doesn't need to. You do it for her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm convinced. Meaning what? That you won't tell her? Well, nothing to tell. That's the spirit. Oh, yes, um, a word of warning. Oh, gosh, no, what? Uh... You've been away from each other for quite a time. She's bound to ask a few leading questions. Oh, Penny trusts me implicitly. She'll still ask. They always do. Instinctively, it's a sort of routine check. Yeah, rather like going through the customs. Why, well, I, I, I suppose she'll ask me if I've got anything to declare. <laughs> Not directly. 
No, and she's not likely to search my luggage either. Uh, not till you're married. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, you'll get the same searching look. And a lot of searching questions. Disguised as uh, light-hearted badinage. You know how it goes. No, I was afraid of that. <laughs> look, how about taking him through it? That's an idea. We'll have a rehearse there. Now, let's see. She'll probably start with the daddy of them all. I suppose you met lots of pretty girls while you were away. That's the one. Now then, what would you say to that? No, I, I'd say, um... You, you know, I, I, I wouldn't look at another woman. No, 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 no. Sounds on the defensive. On the defensive implies guilt. A player at her own game. Light-hearted badinage. As light as you like. Right? Now, ah, once again, father. I suppose you met lots of pretty girls while you were away. Well, of course I did. No, even lighter. Of course I did. Good. Oh, did you indeed? Hundred. Excellent. Prettier than me? Much. No, never say that. <laughs> Not even in fun. There's only one way to answer that. Heavily romantic. I, I've never met anybody as pretty as you. Still, you could hardly be expected to get that right with father in the part. <laughs> However, you'll get by. True. Well, i better go and tidy up. Oh, dear. Too late. Oh, all right, I'll let her in. Here you are. Here's a comb. Right. Good luck. Oh, Yo, thanks. Mirror over there. Oh, don't look good. Excited? Oh, of course I am. I, I, I could hardly believe my ears when you said she was back. Now, don't forget, I'll, I, I'm not supposed to have told you. As far as you're concerned, it's a big surprise. After you, my dear, it's Penny David. Hello, darling. Oh, gosh, what a wonderful surprise. <laughs> I can hardly believe my ears. You'll believe my eyes. <laughs> uh, would you excuse me, Penny? I've, um, I've, I've got to go and put Carol's light on. Yeah, I'll come and back you up. See you in a second. Darling Penny. Dear David. Mm. Mm. Oh, gosh. It's wonderful being together again. Mm. I'm sorry I wasn't here to welcome you home. Well, that's all right. You're here now. That, that, that's all that matters. Oh, mm. I, I'm so happy. I, I don't know what to say. Oh, the usual things. Did you miss me? Oh, I did. Terribly. Felt lost without me? Completely. Counted the days till you'd see me again? The minutes. <laughs> don't be silly. You were away for months. Yeah, that's why I counted the minutes. It helped pass the time. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure you were much too busy. I, I did work fairly hard, actually. Oh, I wasn't thinking of the work. I was thinking of all the pretty girls you must have met. Ah, I oh, know. No, no, you won't catch me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning what? Oh, I, I, I did meet lots of pretty girls. Oh, did you indeed? Well, of course I did. Prettier than me? Hundreds. No, I mean... <laughs> I'm obviously slipping. No, I'm sorry. It, it was a mistake. Hmm. You sure? I'm positive. I can't understand it, really. Understand what? Oh, well, I went wrong. It was all right at rehearsal. <laughs> rehearsal? Yeah, well, re oh, I, 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 I've, been, I've been rehearsing all the things I wanted to say to you. You know, you know saying them over to myself. <laughs> and now it's all gone wrong. Horribly. Well, it's my fault for teasing you. No, no, Miss Silly, I, I don't mind. And I don't mind how many pretty girls you've met, so that's all right. Well, John again. Did you meet a lot? <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> I'm giving you a second chance. Oh, oh I see. That's, that's jolly nice of you. Well? I, I, I met hundreds of pretty girls. But shall I, shall I tell you something? Yes, please. I, I, I didn't meet anybody as, as, as pretty as father. Oh. You were <laughs> Pretty as you. Oh, dear poor David. Shall I tell you something? What? For a moment, just for a moment... I thought you'd got a guilty conscience. You did? Mm-hmm. And then I realized that's how you always look. How? Guilty. <laughs> Darling, Davy. Mm. Mm. Oh, Penny, I wonder if it... Mm. Oh, I'm so sorry. I did cough before I came in. Uh, it's smoking too much. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Do you think you could go and say goodnight to Carol, Penny? She heard you arrive. Mm, yes, of course. It won't be a second. You were right. It's exactly like going through the customs. How did you get on? Well, I muddled through. Well, it's fine. Your trouble is as good as over. Well, I wonder. Why are you so gloomy? Well, I, I, I was just thinking. What happens if I meet Honor when I'm out with Penny? Well, there's not, not much chance of it happening, is there? I thought they lived in London. Well, they, they've also got a house in the country. Not, 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 not all that far from mother and father. Ooh. And we'll, we'll be down there this weekend. Oh, well, if the worst comes to the worst. I know. I can always emigrate. <laughs> Oh, good. 
found it thing I just dropped off. I know, I heard you. Uh, Bliss? Oh, good afternoon. My name's Honor Marchant. Is David Bliss there? Yes, hold on. Do uh, you know where David is? Yeah, in the other room with Penny. I'll call him. David! Oh, coming! Oh, good heavens. I've just realized who it is. Not on a march. Yes, but it's a local call. That's right, they've got a house down here. Oh, did you, did you want me? Anna wants you. She's on the phone. Oh, dear. As I said before, she's a determined young lady. She's a madam. Oh, you're right, she is. You, what, 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 what on earth shall I say? But just say hello and leave the rest to us. All oh, right. <laughs> hello, madam. <laughs> you... <laughs> hello, hello, Anna. Sorry. Oh, it's all right. I'm getting used to it. I say, what's this I hear about your writing a report? Writing a... Oh, oh on my, my tour abroad, you mean? Mm. I was most impressed. So is Daddy, apparently. He wants to discuss it with you. Oh, gosh, really? Really, that's why I phoned. He'd rather like you to come round for a drink this evening. If that's convenient. Oh, uh, yeah. hold on a second. I'll find out what I'm doing. <laughs> now, what do I do? I, I can hardly refuse. No, not, uh, not if it's genuine. On the other hand, supposing it's a trick. You go round and what do you find? Daddy isn't there. Daddy had to go out unexpectedly. Leaving you alone with Madam. Then where are you? On my way home. <laughs> you know, she's not going to like you rushing off without a word. I should go armed with an excuse, just in case. Yes, but I'm 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 armed with what excuse? We'll work it out later. Better get off the phone first. Your 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 plans are rather vague, but you'll come round anyway, all right? No, oh, yeah, I suppose so. Uh, hello, Anna. Look, look, my, my plans are rather vague. Oh, what's that? An excuse? Well, obviously not. Why, obviously? Well, I'm coming armed anyway. You're co coming round anyway. Good. Five, six. No, oh, fine. You've got the address? Yes. I look forward to seeing you then. Goodbye. Goodbye. Honestly, she really is a man. Oh, there's another. I'd better let her in. Come on, then. I've got it. What? Your excuse for this evening. When you get round there... Say you're worried about Psyche. Not really. She, she was missing when you left. She's probably all right, but you'd like to phone and make sure. Now then, we answer the phone. Oh, I see what you're driving at now. If her father's there, Psyche's been found. Yes. If he's not there, Psyche's not here. I know you are. <laughs> no, no. Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll explain later. I, I, I leave there in a panic, mm -hmm. and there we are. I, I'm home and dry. I say, that, that's a wonderful... Oh, I'm, I'm in here. Not a word about honor. As far as you're concerned, she doesn't exist. I know. Oh, I'm beginning to feel uh, neglected. I'm uh, sorry, I, I, I was on the phone. I, I'm afraid I've, I've got to go out this evening. Have yeah. you, dear? Well. Oh, hello, Ma. I, I, I've got to go and see a Mr. Marchant. Not Vernon Marchant. Yes, yes, that's right. He's one of our directors. Why, why, do you know him? Oh, vaguely. They've got a daughter called, um, oh, I forget now. What is her name, David? I didn't even know she existed. <laughs> she exists all right. You'll have to watch out, Betty. She's a pretty girl. Really? Exceptionally pretty. No, oh, I wouldn't say that. Yeah, I wouldn't say that to Penny. <laughs> well, though, she, she, she might take you seriously. It's nice to know one of your directors is taking an interest in you. Well, I suppose it is, really. Of course, I, I met them on the ship, you know. Oh, who? Mr. Marchant and his daughter. And his uh, wife, wasn't it? Oh, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, he, his wife. Oh, thank you, Anne. I think I'll go and freshen up. Yes, me too. Well, I feel a bit grubby. Down, down, down in a second. Down in a second. Well, what are they up to? Nothing, as far as I know. And why the stampede? You know what men are, dear. Tell them a meal's ready and they always disappear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jane, I'll go. Hello, Anna. David. Hello, come in. Sorry, I'm a bit late. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Daddy isn't here. <laughs> isn't, isn't, isn't here? No. <laughs> Can't think what's happened to them. They said they'd be back by now. They? Mummy and Daddy. Oh, I see. So th th there's nobody here? No. We're all alone. Are you worried? About Psyche. Yeah, she, she was missing when I left the house. <laughs> yeah, do, 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 do you think I could, I could phone up and see if she's all right? Yes. Of course. There's the phone, Luke. Oh, thank you. Is she inclined to wander? Who? Psyche? Oh, good gracious, now. She never leaves my side. Oh, not, not, not usually, that is. Um, uh, <clears throat> Hello? Dragon 321? Oh, dear. Hello? Oh, uh, hello, Penny. It's David. Um, is, is Psyche there? Why? Do you want to speak to her? <laughs> 
No, 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 no. I, 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 I was wondering if she, if she was safe. Perfectly. Is she all right? Yeah, apparently. Apparently what? Oh, sorry. I, I, I was speaking to Honor. Honor? Yeah, Honor Margin. Yes, that's right. I guessed as much. I couldn't be angry at David. Goodbye. Oh, no, 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 just, just, just a second, Penny. Penny! Pe oh, dear. Something gone wrong with your excuse? Yes, and that's not all. My excuse? You said you were coming armed. <laughs> Poor David. Look, I've got a confession to make. Daddy won't be back for about half an hour. I knew that when I rang you. I knew we'd be alone, but... Uh... But what? I know when I'm beaten. There you are. Your troubles are over. Mm, don't you believe it? They're just beginning. I could be sorry, David. It all happened so quickly. I was waiting. Mother phone. Mother called me away. I rang and Penny answered. Oh, well. It can't be helped. Oh, well, there you are, Father. Mother wants the carver sharpened. Why? What have I done now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. I'll see to it. Oh, don't, don't, don't tell Penny I'm back, Father. All right, I won't. <laughs> Trouble? Well, I, I, I just don't know how to face her. Don't worry, I think it'll be all right. You wouldn't say that if you knew what had happened. I do. How? Oh. I have my methods. I ought to be cross with you for listening to Father and Tony, but I'm not. Tony's a changed man. He's been too busy with your life to worry about his own. Other people's troubles are the finest tonic in the world. I only wish I knew somebody with trouble. I could do with a tonic. Oh, hello, darling. Why didn't you tell me you were back? Oh, uh, I've just remembered something I've got to see to. Oh, see you both later. Well? Right, right. I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> There's nothing to say. Anne's told me the whole story. Oh, so that's it. Is she very pretty? Oh, Honor? Mm. Oh, well, exceptionally pretty. But, but, shall I, shall I tell you something? She's not as pretty as father. <laughs> not as pretty as you <laughs> that's all right then we'll consider the matter closed oh thank goodness for that <laughs> it, it, it was important in a way important a matter of honor that was a life of bliss the artist taking part for david bliss george cole Anne fellows diana churchill tony fellows colin gordon mrs bliss gladys young mr bliss carlton hobbs Psyche the Dog, Percy Edwards, Penny Gay, Petula Clark, Anna Marchant, Gwen Cheryl. This programme, which was recorded by the BBC, was written by Godfrey Harrison and produced by Leslie Bridgemont. <laughs>